Okay, our next test here is the uh, the same tube assembly, same fan, except the only difference here is we've added a plexiglass shield or baffle to uh, to keep that air that's being pushed against the fan back in the area where the rear of the fan is. Uh, again, the, uh, the smoke shows that it goes directly into the fan and pretty much spreads out, and you can see it barely coming out from around the edges of the fan. And if I try to push smoke in to the edge of the fan, it's blown directly away from the baffle and the rear cell. So here we have an effective means at least of getting keeping the air back around the back portion of the fan. And it would probably make more sense to uh, make this baffle out of a black or non-reflective dark material, but uh, this is my first shot at it. We did it clear plexiglass, and that way we can see what's going on. Now let's take a look uh, at the inside of the tube and see how this baffle affects the air inside the tube. And again, it's pretty much the way it was uh, before we put install the baffle. Uh, one thing I do see is a little more air moving around the edges of this baffle. And uh, it does seem to push the air and swirl around and eventually finds its way out of the tube, especially when the tube is pointed upwards. But uh, no real uh, air movement crossing that mirror, scrubbing a potential boundary layer of heat coming off the mirror. So uh, really not a big difference inside the tube. Uh, you can see the, I, I'm still seeing faint traces of the smoke just kind of sitting inside the tube swirling around.